What's going on, everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. Right now it's 7.43, Wednesday, August 11th. And right now I'm hitting you guys with a video, a review on the power support front and back film set for the iPhone 4. This is uh, $24.95, and you can go to powersupportusa.com. And this is going to be um, an install video plus a first impression. So let's go ahead and get into it. I got the HD anti-glare film one. This is $24.95. Again, powersupportusa.com. This um, this set includes one anti-glare film screen, film screen, one crystal screen film, and one uh, crystal back, and then two pre-installation films. Now those are used to just kind of fend off any dust that you may have. So if you guys don't know, I have a Twitter account, and it'd be really cool if you guys followed me. It's at Tim's Tech Blog, and you guys can follow me there to get all my updates about technology, music, um, basically everything tech-related, and a few giveaways that I'm going to be doing very, very shortly here. You, may want, you want to make sure that you're following me. Crystal back, which is nice and cut out for the camera there. We've got the one HD anti-glare for the front. As you can see, it's got a little frost to it. And then we have the one crystal clear front as well. Now you can take a look at those cutouts. They look really nice. I'm a big fan of power support and their solutions that they came out with for the uh, 3G and 3GS. So I'm really anxious to see how well they carry over to the iPhone 4 as far as, you know, um, port cutouts and durability and all that stuff and quality, basically. Like I said, I'm going to use the front, the anti-glare one, the crystal, or the HD anti-glare. That's the one I'll be using. And so I'm just going to go ahead and ditch this SGP one, even though I really don't want to. It's super nice, but hey, got to try some new stuff out. The way that I use them, at least, is I just peel one side of it off, and I come over here, and I just start taking away the dust. HD anti-glare film set, and I'm going to do the taco style. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that here shortly. So the taco style is if you just kind of fold it in place like this and just kind of set everything, line it up as you're going down. And there we go. Then you just lay it down and kind of let all the bubbles work itself out. The way that I get these out is by taking two pieces of tape and lifting one end up while still trying to catch the, the uh, old dust there. So we're gonna try to do that real quick. Go to the other side and try to get out all these stinking pieces of dust. Uh, you guys, when you're doing this, just take your time, be patient. The more frustrated you get, the more unhappy you'll be with the results. So just take your time, go around the phone, and just, you know, move at your own pace. But don't get frustrated. Okay, so I got the black leather decal taken off there, so now I'm just giving this one little wipe down. And then I'll install the crystal back here. Again with the taco style. Just line everything up with the camera port. Lay down. Nice and easy. Okay, so get on there few pieces of dust so I'm gonna do my little two tape technique here and then try to get these bubbles out of all right so as you guys can see I have the anti-glare the HD anti-glare film set on here and I got all my air bubbles out and it looks really good so here's what it looks like with the display does not I mean it looks great as you can see there's barely any hazing going on um, you know everything looks really sharp and crisp and it gives you that nice little frosty feel so once again there it is everything's really sharp and poppy now on the back you have the crystal guard on there and that basically looks like a naked iphone there doesn't it the camera cutouts are really really nice and i'm highly doubting that this is going to affect with the um the uh, flash everything looks really really good now i'm not gonna lie this was kind of a pain to install being that it is a dry install you don't you know like zag you have like solution that you put on there to get rid of the bubbles and stuff but this was a lot harder um you have to be very patient you may end up with a few bubbles but you saw taking two pieces of tape and doing it that way helps out a lot otherwise my first impressions of this product are good however i really like the sgp skin guards that they offer so and for the price, you know, it's $14 for a pair. This was $30, you know, given taxes and shipping. So, you know, I like it a lot. 
but I'm gonna have to stick with SGP but you know if you guys have any questions just hit me up um, once again just one final little walk around the phone of how everything looks the cutout there um, again your apps everything looks great you know text looks awesome so you know that's it. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Tim's Tech Blog. But uh, that's it for me. I'm out of here, guys.